Spam Crackers. Today we are announcing changes to the YouTube Partnership Program, YPP. While our goal remains to keep the YPP open to as many channels as possible, we recognize that we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. What's changing? Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, Spam Crackers, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partnership Program. On February 20th, 2018, unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. Accordingly, this email serves as 30 days notice that your YouTube Partner Program terms are terminated. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone with the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Creators who haven't yet reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy, our Help Center, and all the resources on the Creator site to grow their channels. Once your channel reaches the new threshold, it will be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines. And so, monetization will be re-enabled. Sincerely, The YouTube Team Yep, YouTube is at it again. You know, I really freaked out about this last night and into the early morning. I've been on this channel doing my thing for two and a half years. In spite of the adpocalypse and YouTube's restrictive mode, I've been going on, continuing drawing my pictures and talking about anime however I please. In the back of my mind was this hope that someday I'd meet the benchmark $100 point in ad revenue that would start my getting paid for doing something I loved, which I'm currently only doing as a hobby. This new system says that without getting a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the past year, I am unable to be considered for that tiny bit of ad revenue, as they are trying to cut out the fat of their system and only reward the people who can do as much with it. <sighs> On a small scale, I can see where this would be effective, but there are an awful lot of people who feel threatened by the fact that the new bar has been set, myself included, I'll admit. But now, thinking about it, after I've gone to bed and woken up, I realize that this doesn't just suck because I haven't reached the benchmark. It sucks because it doesn't really affect my channel. I haven't gotten anything like money from YouTube in my two and a half years of doing this, and them saying that they won't pay me is not going to change the fact that the corporate YouTube has given me nothing but grief so far anyway. On the other side, though, the community of YouTube has given me a lot. I may not have a thousand subscribers to brag about at this point, but I have 904 awesome people who willingly support me, watch my videos, and give me their input. When I started this channel, I barely got people I knew watching me, but now, despite my inconsistent upload schedule and less than professional video format, they've stuck around because they like what I do. It really can be a time trying to work my videos around the rest of my life, but somehow it's managed to work this far. And with any luck in the future, I can give my subscribers the kind of videos that they deserve, as well as whatever it is that they like about it. I'm not going to quit making videos. The last thing I want to happen is for these people to think that they've wasted their time here, or that I'm ungrateful and think their support isn't enough for me. I've only gotten as far as I have because people on my channel believe that there is merit to it, and I cannot express my gratitude for that enough. If it wasn't for their encouragement, this channel, though still relatively small, would not be where it is today. However, I also don't want to give up my shot at making at least a little bit of extra revenue to at least become a budget for improving this channel and its content. I have a little over a month to get a thousand subscribers, but in case you haven't noticed, that's not good enough for the corporate YouTube. I wouldn't just need to get 100 more subscribers in a month. I would need to get almost 700 more hours worth of people watching my videos. This is where things get a little tough, because I don't feel it's right to ask people to watch the videos for my sake. People should come to YouTube to watch things they enjoy and not because I beg them to reach a benchmark. As I said, not being monetized makes no difference to me because I currently am living without YouTube paying, with paying me just fine. I am going to push hard in the next month, though, to try and fit the criteria before I get ousted and need to jump through even more hoops to get my non-existent revenue back. I will be making more videos than average in the next month, 
In addition to my monthly manga feature I planned on doing, I will have two new top 10 stands in JoJo videos. With any luck, these can help me breach the point that I need to get past to prove to YouTube that if I ever get a check from them, I earned it by their standards. In the meantime, you guys out there watching this, you can just keep on doing what you're doing. Watch as you like, like as you please, and comment as you see fit. If I can't make the YouTube system work, that's on me. Of course, sharing this video and spreading the word about all this is always appreciated, and I can't say how grateful I am to anyone who is willing to go that extra little bit. Back in 2017, when I asked that people share my video addressing YouTube's restrictive mode, it didn't go so well. And months later, I saw my peers on YouTube shocked and surprised when they realized the demonetization was happening. It was heartbreaking, but also incredibly frustrating that if I could have just reached them and had them look at my warning, it would have saved some people a lot of grief. They could have been prepared. The situation is very different by comparison, everyone is already talking about it as it is, but it can only do more good than harm to spread the word. And that's it for now, people of Earth and Elsewhere. With any luck, I'll stay on YouTube's good side and not have my monetization rights terminated in a month. But if that does happen, I don't plan on getting rid of my channel or stopping making videos for it. They just won't come out any more frequently or consistently, I'm sorry about that. Once more, I'd like to thank the 904 people who follow this channel for your views and support. Don't ever think I don't love you or that I don't appreciate what you do. We'll weather this storm together and maybe someday Spam Crackers will be what you guys deserve from it. Hope to see you in the next video, you guys, and if possible, many, many more videos after that. Ciao!